remember it was exactly a year ago and a day that the federal election was held. Now, as Alan would say, Bill Shorten was winks-like with his odds to win. The Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, though, pulled off a remarkable victory. Nearly every poll and political expert predicted a Shorten landslide. Well, Alan, I'm going to boast for you here a bit. We're going to play a clip from our program on the Tuesday before the election. You and I went around the map of Australia we told everyone, didn't we, that Mr Shorten simply couldn't win the 76 seats needed to become Prime Minister. We'll play that clip tonight, but the archive crashed recently, so we don't have it, but we'll pull it together. Plenty of stuff here. Let's have a look. On what's your forecast from where we sit right now? What are you expecting to happen tonight? Well, I'm, I must say uh, I'm not normally confused, but I am a little... Um... I find it difficult, I listen to the panel there, to know where Bill Shorten is going to get his 76 seats from. As I've gone in some depth across the country, uh, a lot of it is hope and problematical, but uh, the bookies don't lie, and the bookies have Scott Morrison at almost $8 and the Labor Party at Winks odds. So the bookies know something that I don't know. Now, I heard Matthias talk about WA. I don't think there's anything in WA for Labor given that they're hoping to get... They might think Hannah Beasley can win, I doubt it. Yet, I guess that Cowan is a seat that the Liberals could win. In South Australia, it's most probably even Stevens. In the Northern Territory, there's nothing in it for Labor. They hold the seats, but I think Lingiari and Solomon... Uh, there are all sorts of problems up there with the Labor Party, and uh, Jacinta Price is, is a very significant candidate. So there's nothing there for Labor. There's nothing there for Labor in the ACT, and there's nothing for Labor in Tasmania. On the other hand, Scott Morrison would think he was in with a chance in Bass and some say Braddon. So you then go to Queensland and where they would have thought they'd pick up something, they've got to try and hang on to Herbert. Adani is a big issue there. I don't think they'll win Capricornia. They always say every election they'll win Ford and Brisbane and they're always tight, but they've always been held and there's no movement there. They thought they'd win Dutton's seat, which is Dixon. I understand that Dutton believes that can be won. So I just don't know where the seats are in Queensland. You then go to New South Wales, and I heard the boys there talking about Gilmore, and she's a very good candidate, uh, Phillips, the Labor candidate. She's been at it for a couple of years. But that's, I don't know, line ball, that may well be a Labor seat. Now, they've got to hang on to Lindsay. Uh, whether that can happen or not, I'm not sure, but it's very problematical. Uh, they've got to hang on to Dobell. It does appear as though Oakshot won't win Cowper, so the coalition will hang on to that. And I still keep saying, well, there's only one state left, and that's Victoria, where Labor have got to win these seats to win government. So I'm not saying Scott Morrison can win, but I'm saying, as I see it now, I have difficulty seeing where Bill Shorten is going to get to 76. 